a shaft 6 cm in diameter and 40 cm long, is pulled steadily at 0.4 m per second through a sleeve 6.02 cm in diameter. The clearance is filled with oil that has a kinematic viscosity of 0.003 m squared per second and a specific gravity of 0 0.88. What is the force required to pull the shaft? This is the second example for the viscosity and shear strain rate main video. The link to that main video, other examples and other lectures of the fluid mechanics and other engineering courses are found in the description below. If the shaft is being pulled at a constant speed, it means that it's not accelerating. This means that the sum of forces in the x-direction is equal to zero. The force is acting on the positive x-direction and the shear stress due to the interaction with the fluid is causing a force in the opposite direction. This shear stress is affecting the entire outer surface of the shaft. The reason for this is that the contact area between the shaft and the fluid is the cylindrical area of the shaft. As for the shear stress, the thickness of the film would be the difference between the two radii. This can also be written as the difference between diameters divided by 2. The last variable we need is the dynamic viscosity mu. And since the dynamic viscosity is equal to the kinematic viscosity times the density, and the density is the specific gravity times the density of the water, we have everything we need to calculate the force. We substitute the shear stress, the area, the dynamic viscosity, and the thickness of the film. We now substitute the values, and we find that the force is approximately 795 newtons. For the other examples of the viscosity and shear strain rate main video, as well as the other lectures of the fluid mechanics course or other engineering courses, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.